takes. Swain the favourite. Come on! And they're away. And uh, Alvarado began well on the outside. Taras got tucked into the back, but uh, going through on the inside as expected. The pacemaker Happy Valentine leads from the favourite Swain in second, and they're followed by Chatouche with Alvarado on the outside and behind these the French challenger Czar and then once a wonderful make no mistake and Tarascon on the back marker as they race down the far side and Happy Valentine races six seven lengths clear of Swain they're followed by Alvarado in third and behind Alvarado Chatouche the uh, Oaks winner followed by Czar and they're followed by once a wonderful make no mistake that's the one and Tarascon brings up the rear midway down the far side now as they race past the uh, six furlong marker and happy valentine and Dara Hudanahu out in front stretching a good seven lengths clear of Swain and Frankie de Torre Alvarado is third Chatouche is next on the inside then Czar just being squeezed along ahead of one so wonderful and a break then of four lengths to make no mistake with the uh, Tarascon last of the eight they're at the halfway stage now in the Irish champion stakes and happy valentine's lead has been cut to about four lengths as Swain leads the chase ahead of Alvarado in third they're followed by Chatouche four and Czar in five and one so wonderful next make no mistake about to be joined by Tarascon but they're about ten lengths off the lead at this stage as they race towards the three furlong pole and happy Valentine Swain closing on the outside behind Swain is Alvarado in three Chatouche ridden along in four Czar trying to get into it five one so wonderful being asked to raise her effort now as they swing for home and Swain comes there on the outside of happy Valentine Alvarado in pursuit in third and as they race into the last two furlongs, Swain goes for home, chased by Alvarado in second, Czar is third, and they're followed in fourth place by One So Wonderful, it's Swain and Faggy de Torre, chased by Alvarado, George Duffield in second, One So Wonderful, and Czar trying to close, then Tarascon, but it's Swain the leader, Swain in front from Alvarado, Czar, One So Wonderful, inside the last hundred yards, the favourite Swain and Faggy de Torre, going to win the easy Digifar Irish champion stakes as they race up to the line, Swain, Alvarado closes to about a length, Czar runs on for third, fourth is one so wonderful and they're cleared of Tarascon, make no mistake, Happy Valentine and Chatouche is last of the eight. So, the race went uh, more or less to script, Swain the six to four favourite, the pace making done by Happy Valentine, Swain went for it, but in the last uh, 50 yards or so the gap was being reduced, Alvarado gave everything, but uh, she couldn't uh, quite get to... Well, you have to credit this horse, Swain. He is so brave, so gutsy. Frankie de Torre made his move early enough. Happy Valentine had set a good, strong pace, but he came back to his field about four furlongs from home. Not the terribly long straight here at Leopard Stand, so Frankie pushes go. Alvarado, who's finished second, has run an amazing race. She really has. She's, she's taken this step up in class, and she's finished, what, a length, just over a length and a quarter behind Swain. She's run brilliantly. Czar, at one stage, was carrying his head slightly on one side. He looked to be going quite well. He hasn't really found very much. And actually, you've got to say, once so wonderful's run on very well after that hard race in the Judmont International, Jimmy. Czar's been bogged down today, Claire. He couldn't find that acceleration that he has got. But we take nothing away from the winner, Swain. As we said before, a mature six-year-old in this type of going, he knew the game. And when Frankie de Torre pushed the button with about two and a half to run, he got to the front, lengthened it all the way. But now just watch, as you say, uh, this is a terrific run from Alvarada with George Duffield in the saddle. I think it's the run of her career. She really is a cracking filly. 